welcome to Beautiful You, a show designed to inspire, motivate, and empower you to be your authentic best. We invite you to join us on this journey of self-discovery. And our hope is that over the next 30 minutes, you find just one thing that reminds you that to be truly beautiful, you just have to be you. looking for ways to make myself just a little bit healthier and this week I found something that truly surprised me. I sat down with Carrie from Savvy Bohem and found out a little bit about raw coconut oil and how to use it for pulling the toxins from our body. Thank you so much for coming out today and showing us these natural beauty tips. I'm really excited to hear what you have to, to share with us. Uh, what's first, this? First step is raw coconut oil. This is uh, organic, fair trade coconut oil. In its raw state, it's solid. Wow, because when I think of coconut oil, I really do. I think oil, liquid, but this is not uh, liquid at all. Nope, it's, it's very solid, but not for long. It, it, it melts at about 79 to 80 degrees. Okay, so, so what can we do with raw coconut oil? You can do absolutely amazing things with coconut oil. You can put it in your hair as a mask, you know, just apply, apply just it like a cream. Just scoop it in, layer it Don't in. Don't put it in your roots though. Okay. It'll be crazy, but you know, down low and then uh, let it absorb for 10 or 15 minutes. Okay. And then wash it out with shampoo. You have okay. to wash it out. Uh, you also- And that's a moisturizing for your hair? Well, it, it, it actually seals the hair cuticle so that you know your flyaways aren't crazy. Yeah, it makes your hair look healthier. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Awesome. And then also uh, you can use this as an, an oil cleanser. You okay. just, yeah, it's old school. Oil cleansing method is a very old school way that we used to, we used to clean our faces and bodies. Scoop out some, let it you know, melt in your hands just a little bit and you could add a bit of water if you want to emulsify it. And then you just do this to your face until it's nice and emollient. Uh -huh. And then you rinse it off and it uh, releases oil, it releases the dead skin, it draws toxins to the surface and it moisturizes all in one. So now if you have oily skin already though? Wonderful, coconut oil is actually very astringent and so by nature it's, it's actually more beneficial for people with oily skin. Really? Oil releases oil and people think that they can't use oil on the, on the face, but that they actually can, they just need to use the right oil. You wanna stay away from mineral oil or you know, parabens or anything, or paraffin, like anything like that. But uh, but Coconut real oil you could use. real oil, your body knows what to do with. Awesome. Also, okay. body, same thing. Moisturizer. You can use it as a massage oil. You can also use it on your feet. And you oh. know, you put it on your feet. Put socks on. Go to sleep. Wake up. It's amazing. That's awesome. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, when you were talking about doing a cleanse, mm -hmm. how would you use it? to cleanse mm -hmm. with the cleanse? Well, um, you know, the trend today is everyone is actually cooking with coconut oil because it is definitely um, a good type of saturated fat, but you can also use it as uh, a oil pulling. You just put a scoop in your mouth. It's weird. It's not like anything we've ever done before, okay. but our ancestors did it and you, you know, swish around, just swish it around 20 minutes. Mouth. It's drawing toxins to the surface. 20 minutes? 20 minutes. You you put this in your mouth and, and then don't you- Don't talk for 20 minutes. Don't talk for 20 minutes. And then you put it in your hair and you're doing okay. this the whole time. Okay, and then cool. you, you know, and then you take care of your body and then you spit it out. That's awesome. Uh -huh. it's and actually, it smells great. It does, it smells great. And it's very high in um, antibacterial properties and also in antioxidants. And oh so it's gosh. just a wonder, wonderful oil. I love it. I would have never guessed. Yes. Thank you so much for yes. sharing this with us Absolutely. today. There you have it. Coconut oil, raw form. Raw form, organic. Awesome. Thank yep. you. You're welcome. Coupons come at us day and night, whether it's in our printed mailbox or our online mailbox. I wanted to find out just how safe some of those discounts are on medical services. So I sat down with Dr. Jeffrey Edelglass of Skintastic to find out, are they really saving you money? So Dr. A, a lot of my girlfriends have been getting these emails with coupons for everything from discount Botox to discount liposuction. And these emails come across like they're screaming deals, but I really don't know what to tell them. What would you say to someone that was looking at these screaming deals? Well, in my opinion, these deals are screaming, but they're screaming caution and beware. 
you know, most reputable doctors do not utilize these methods. And the reason that these companies can do this is many of them are perhaps buying these drugs offshore. In fact, you may have seen the FDA recently sent out a letter to 350 doctors in the United States, 17 in Texas, 8 in Dallas, who the FDA claim may be using unsafe, unproven Botox for their patients, and they asked them to stop. And there are thousands more doctors, nurses, clinics utilizing these products that the FDA is still looking to find. Wow. What happens when you utilize a product that's old or expired in your skin? Can you really afford to trust your face without the guarantee that you're in the best hands? Not to mention the long-term effects of whatever it is that they're injecting in you. Because as a, as a patient, there's really no way for us to to check the label or find out if they're, what they're putting in us is actually Botox. Well, it goes even further than that. I've been doing this for over 30 years. I studied post high school for probably about 10 years, college, med school, residency, to learn how to do this. I know how the muscles work, how they interact, how to utilize products to achieve a precise, perfect, pretty, and more importantly, or equally importantly, natural look. How to combine the relaxes with fillers, with volumizers. This is not something one can learn in a weekend course in Las Vegas. It's years of experience. I've done research on most of these products for these companies prior to them FDA approval to help the companies understand how they work, how they're best applied, and who are the best candidates. The thing that you need to look for is not price, but experience and quality. Many of these coupons are offered, and you know, there's the old story, if you have a hammer, the whole world looks like a nail. We offer a wide variety of products and procedures to be able to do the right product, the right procedure for every individual. No patient, man or woman, is the same. No one needs the same thing. And by being a doctor's office, we have products and services to offer the right thing to the right person. It's not your coupon says this brand, so you must have this brand. We can do what's best for the patient. And this allows us to give them a beautiful, quality, natural look. And you have to remember, it's all about experience. And by having done thousands of these procedures, having many thousands of patients, and having been involved in the research products, and on the advisory board, of these companies in addition to teaching other doctors how to do these. So when you come to someone who has this experience, don't you think it's, it's affordable? It becomes much more affordable. I mean, I can't imagine reversing something that you've had done that was bad. I mean. We see people every day who've had a procedure and now they don't like the results. And we follow a policy of having what I call quality pricing, that it's fair, but you pay for what you get. And it's very interesting. I would challenge people any day to just watch the news here in Dallas, look at the newscasters, look at the people, and you can see uneven brows, oh. wrinkles that are here but not there, cheeks that stick out and move separately from the face. Oh and gosh. I don't have to say anything more than just watch the news. And you'll see it. And if you're lucky, watch the award shows. True. And that's why here at Skintastic, we try to give people balance. We do a little bit, they can come back 
I've been here over 30 years, and it allows people to do a little bit, see how they like it, and then do a little bit more and a little bit more. I love it. I love it. I mean, you don't want a, you know, auto mechanic working on your refrigerator. So it's the same thing. You want someone with experience working on, on you. And that's important. Well, it's like anything else. And I always pe tell people the baking story. If you and I went to the store and we bought the ingredients to bake a cake and you took it home and I took it home, I would bet you that your cake would taste better than mine. <laughs> I have no idea how to bake a cake. And yes, I can take a day course on how to bake a course, yeah, I, but I bet you your cake would still taste know, better than Dr. mine. A, I'm, you might lose that bet. <laughs> <laughs> the important thing is you can't have your cake and eat it too. too. I'll agree with that. Well, if you would like results with experience, then contact Scantastic today and let them make you more beautiful. In today's philanthropic moment, I am so excited to be joined by the girls from the SPCA are here with Sydney, who's bathing all of us. You guys were telling me there's um there's a little issue with black dogs. People will pass over black dogs because a lot of times we think people have a hard time connecting with their eyes. Okay. So we do everything we can for people to see them. We'll put bandanas on them. Uh, we put, the, of course, our brand new shelter that's been open just a year, the Jan Reese Jones Animal Care Center. Gorgeous. Was designed to feature all the dogs in a beautiful setting. She's, She's perfect. She is so sweet. Okay, now, you know, a lot of people don't understand the difference between ASPCA and SPCA of Texas. The SPCA of Texas this is the largest shelter and um, rescue organization in North Texas, and we service eight counties in North Texas. Wow. Whereas the ASPCA is based in New York City. So a lot of people um, get confused by the different advertisements on TV. Um, and though the ASPCA is wonderful, the SPCA of, of Texas services the community that we live in. Right. So in other words, if we want to donate locally and keep the money here in Dallas or, or Texas in general mm -hmm. to help animals here in this state, we need to donate to the SPCA of Texas. Correct. So dogs like Sydney can get spayed, neutered, vetted, and find loving homes. Okay. Now you guys have two events coming up that I am absolutely so excited about. The first one is Strut Your Mutt. Yes. And that is April 27th? Correct. I know it's coming up so soon. It but really it's is. so fun. Okay, this is a 3K fun run and walk and also a 5K timed run. That's actually new this year. Um, this is the ninth year we've had Strut Your Mutt. It's going to be at Fair Park in Dallas. And that's just people can register on our website right now. And actually, they can raise money. They can start their team. We make it really easy online. And the goal is to uh, to, to raise all the money to benefit the animals and the programs at the SPCA of Texas. And you'll ha also have pets available at Strut Your Mutt for adoption. And we'll also have a lot of fun stuff going on for families, for just people and their dogs and everybody. So come on out and uh, do, just do a lot of good for a wonderful cause. Okay, now we've also got my favorite, the fur ball coming up in September. Such a fun event. It is slated for September 21st. Okay. And this year it will be at the Omni Hotel, which as you know is the, oh, the newest new. hotel in Dallas yes, and it's gorgeous. fabulous. And gorgeous. it is, um, we're celebrating our 75th anniversary this year. <gasps> Uh, and the, the SPCA of Texas, so so exciting. And the theme this year is off the chain. It's James Bond. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's what? Diamonds are forever. Diamonds are forever. Mm -hmm. How cute. It's okay. going to be a blast and probably a sellout. So as soon as you Get can. Get your tickets early. Yeah, okay, it's good. the hottest event in town. Oh, I love it. It's the furriest it's event in town for sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it. If you are interested in Strut Your Mutt on April 27th or the Furball in September, then get your tickets online at spca.org. <laughs> Everybody loves those fabulous smoky eyes from the runway, but not everybody knows how to get them. Today, I'm lucky enough to have Anthony Isambier from Halcyon Day Spa at Neiman's North Park to show us exactly how to do it. Hi, Anthony. Hi, Anne. So you're going to take us, because you say not everybody is comfortable with a really smoky eye, so you're going to start us off with a, what do you call it? It's more of a cocoa eye. A cocoa eye. All right, Anthony, how do we start on our cocoa eye? Well, I take this bronzer. Okay. Not by Stila. It's oh, really that's beautiful. beautiful. It's yeah. very warm. Okay. And if you see here, 
and I'm putting so this, you're just putting it on the lid I'm putting it on the crease and going down to the lash uh, line? the lash line okay yes, and just smoking it out and if you see this is more of a soft oh, smoky oh that's beautiful soft but medium and then you can go underneath the eye look up and just go right across like that and it gives it more of a pop. And that does, it does pops it up, but the, the top gives it a little depth yes. to the lid. And then if you add... That's gorgeous. If you add a liner with this, if you want to smoke it up even more, you want to take a darker shadow as a liner okay. and just go right across... All the way across all the eye. All the way across the eye, but you want to go a little thicker from out and then thinner from in. And just concentrate on the lash line so it doesn't go too heavy. Oh, I've never heard this. that. So you want to make your line thicker, oh, thicker Always on the outside thicker. and then on going in. Always That's thicker. Gorgeous. You see? Okay. Cool how fast that was. That was fast. Now, <laughs> how do we bump this from here to major smoky eye? Okay. Not everybody likes a major smoky eye, but I you know. do. I do. I'm a huge <laughs> smoky eye fan. I know. So we're going to take this. Okay. And so it doesn't go too, too hard. Right. Okay. We want to go again into the crease all the way across the eye like this. Okay. Oh, if you see this, yeah. it's like a foundation right there. And you take this. Okay. I want to add a little bit more. And we're going to go from the corner to center across okay. the crease. And if you see that, that's, wow. like, that's like the, the bear of it. Okay. The that's, skeleton that's of the, it. That's the outline. Okay. Yeah. And then we take this and go right there on each corner on the end. And then we want to take that across the whole lid. Oh, so you're not putting constant new color no. on. You're just spreading look, look what, what you that have. Does <gasps> that's gorgeous. You see, it, I, it can't stand that raccoon big, big, big. Yes, I think that's where everybody makes a mistake is <clears throat> yeah. they go raccoon. And you see, you're going to have some foliage here. So but. you just, I see that. So you're just spreading what you've already got right. on there. But you want to keep that skeleton. Yes. Okay, you want to. The like, framework. The frame and go like across. And then spread it across. All right. It's natural for the uh, color of the black to like fall on the face and so you want to add a little bit of a concealer that has a warmth to it okay so this way it takes away that ashiness of that color oh and just blends the underneath blends that. The oh underneath. look at that that's and gorgeous this is by Stila. this is the best this is a fabulous concealer it's called illuminating concealer by Stila. i love it gorgeous and that's how you do smoky eyes yes. oh my gosh they're great thank you so much anthony you're very welcome so if you want to get a smoky eye, contact Anthony at Halcyon Day Spot, Neiman's North Park. Now that the summer is nearing, there are a number of things that we can do to help women and men get in, in shape for the summer. The main thing that, that we do is really divided between surgical and non-surgical procedures. We do something called the Apollo, which is a non-surgical procedure, feels like a hot stone massage, and helps reduce areas like the stomach, like the legs, and cellulite. If someone wants something a little bit more, we do something called liposuction. We use a smart lipo, and the advantage of a smart lipo are many, but the two main ones are that the cannula is smaller, and this small cannula allows one to recover quickly and go back to work sooner. In addition, it uses a laser. So what this laser does is it melts away the fat before we take it out. It's a great combination. Melt the fat tighten the skin, and then take it out to give someone a beautiful appearance. We do all this under IV sedation so no one feels very much, and the patient can go back to work in three to five days with a much more beautiful figure. <laughs> This week, our journey of self-discovery takes us to exposure indoor rock climbing, where I had to face one of my personal fears, heights. I learned that not only is indoor rock climbing a great way to overcome your fears, it also helps you build trust in others. Take a look. 
Hey guys, I am here at Exposure and I'm about to show you why indoor rock climbing has taken off as one of the best exercises that you can do and add a little extra confidence to your life. I'm here with Jeremy Lack from Exposure. Hi, Jeremy. Hi. I'm so excited. So I had no idea that you could even do indoor rock climbing. And most people don't. Rock climbing is a fun way for anyone to come and get the full body fitness that they're looking to get. It really will work out your legs, your core, your upper body, everything, all in just rock climbing. That is amazing. So really you get a full body workout and, and however long you're here, the whole time you're working And out. have a blast while you're doing it. How long have you guys been open here? We've been open since 93, into 93. 93, how long have you been rock climbing? For 13 years. 13 years, how old were you when you started? I was five years old. Five years old, okay. What is the youngest rock climber that you've ever seen come in? Well, we've had one kid, I guess he was about a year and a half, two years old, come in. He did not make it all the way to the top. We did have a four year old come in and go all the way to the top all without the way to any the top. help. Yeah. Okay, what's the oldest average age you have come in? Um, I'd say probably around 70, 70, 75. What would it take for a beginning person to want to come in and try rock climbing? What do you need? We have all the safety gear and all rented here, so all you need to bring is yourself and some athletic clothing. That's awesome. Can people come in by themselves to try this out, or do you recommend coming in with a partner? We do recommend coming in with a partner just because it'll make it a little bit easier on you. Um, if you want to come in, we do have a lot of people who just come in and find partners as they're here to climb with. Um, really? It's real easy to do that as well. We have a real close-knit community, so everyone's super friendly. When you come in, it's real easy after you get started to just go around and meet some new people. That is wonderful. Now, I hear you guys have um, two-for-one special. We have it's our couples a, night on Monday couples nights. Couples night. I love that. So couples can come and and work out together? Yeah, at a discounted price and work out together. And, I mean, the good thing about that also is that since you're starting new, they're at the same level. Um, to, instead of going and working out, you know, with your girlfriend or your boyfriend or something like that and being at opposite levels, then you feel like you're on the opposite side of the gym from each other. Oh, so it's that's something a you good can do call. Together. So you're together, you're constantly talking and having conversation. Exactly. So I see that'd be why it's, you guys call it a social kind of a workout, because it's really social and a workout. Mm -hmm. We've had two people actually get engaged on couples night. How cool! How did that happen? Well, the, the first one, we had a guy who, as he climbed up the wall, left little notes for, um, for his girlfriend, little, little love notes. sticky notes sticky along notes, the wall? Yeah, on the wall. And, um, you know, saying things that he loved about her, real cute Aww. things like that. And then as he lowered her back down at the end after she had climbed, he, uh, he proposed there right in front of the climbing wall. That's awesome. What was the other one? The other one, we had a guy who came in earlier in the day and hung a wedding ring from the top from the ceiling at the top of the climbing wall. Wow, well that would certainly encourage me to climb to yeah, the top. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and really, indoor rock climbing really is a mental game, right? It really is. Um, you do have to, you know, kind of step outside your box. Once you get up high, you know, um, 25 feet doesn't seem like that high on paper, but when you get up higher, it really is a little bit scarier, no matter if you're afraid of heights or not. Have you ever had people come in that have, to work through their fear of heights at Indoor Rock Climb? Absolutely. And I mean, like I said, it's a great way to work out your trust issues or anything like that because you do have to trust your partner. Your partner will be, you know, your safety line. If you fall, you're relying on that partner to hold you up there. So Wow. So that's a good trust building. Do you ever do corporate trust building? Because I know that works really well Absolutely. for teams. Absolutely. We do team building for corporates. Um, and we also do couples team building, anything like that. So anybody can do it, really? Yeah. I mean, any level can come in and climb. Any physical level, um, any age can come in and try it. Okay. Um, very cool. And you guys rent the equipment if someone wants to up their level or up their game and rock climbing. Exactly. And on all of our deal nights, all of the gear is included in the rental. So Very cool. Now you also do gift certificates, and you do you do guys do private lessons, is that correct? Right, we do offer gift certificates, so if you want to give it as a present, um, you're more than welcome to do that. But we also have private lessons. We have um, me personally and a couple other of our staff will work with you to show you some of the you know proper climbing techniques if you're trying to take it to that next level. If you want to really get engaged in the game. Exactly. Okay, so I noticed that along the wall it's marked 5'6", 5'11", 5'10", is that paths that people of that height should take? Not quite, not okay. quite. It's uh, actually, as you saw, there's tape on the walls. So right. the tapes are gonna be certain routes that you would take as you climb up. The numbers are the ratings of that route. So all of them will be five dot something like you saw. 
And the bigger the number on the right side of that period, the harder that route's going to be. Wow. So a 511 would be a very challenging very, route. Very, very challenging. Exactly. So then if it's marked 511 on the yellow, then only you would only use the rocks that have yellow lines coming off of them? Right. You'd only use the hands and feet with that color tape on it. So it really limits, you know, your possibilities and the holes you're allowed to use as you get up there. It makes it not only more physically taxing, but also sort of a mental game. Yeah, because I would imagine you stand at the wall and sort of prepare. If I put my right hand here, I put my foot then. And exactly. then when you're up there, what happens if you don't put it in the right place and well, how to get around it? Exactly. And I mean, when you get up there, you do have to sometimes, you know, switch to plan B. What's plan B? Going to his lower route? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, so now if you just take any route at all, what's that? How do you do what that? When in doubt, the rainbow route. The rainbow route. There I love that. Okay, so rainbow route is for the beginner. Yes. And, and, and you're sure I can do it? Absolutely, yeah, anyone can do it. Oh, well, now you challenged me. All right, let's go try a rainbow route. All right. <laughs> Okay, terrific. So basically, I just want to go and just start trying to hold yes. on to what I can. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us on this episode of Beautiful You. And we hope that you found just one thing on this journey of self-discovery that inspired you. For more information, go like us on Facebook at beautifulyou-hdtv. To find out what's happening on next week's show, follow us on Twitter at beautifulyouhd. And if you'd like to see behind-the-scenes pictures, amazing offers from our guests, and extended interviews, check us out on the web at beautifulyou-hdtv.com. Remember one thing this week, you are beautiful. Bye, bye, bye.